Welcome to our podcast. In this episode, we uncover the incredible story of Chernobyl's radiation-proof worms. In April 1986, the Chernobyl accident triggered a disaster that within three months killed over 30 people and many more in the following months. Even today, Chernobyl, which used to be home to about 14,000 people, remains a ghost town where people can't survive due to high levels of radiation. As per scientists, it could be thousands of years before the radioactive zone is safe for human habitation. However, as per recent research, there's a certain life form that not only continues to survive, but thrives in the highly radioactive environment of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. As per research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, microscopic nematodes living in the highly radioactive environment have shown no signs of radiation-induced genetic damage. Despite the hazardous conditions, these worms appear to have adapted remarkably well. The worm's ability to survive the dangerous conditions raises intriguing possibilities for DNA repair mechanisms that could benefit human medicine. The study, led by biologist Sophia Tintori of New York University, focused on nematodes, specifically the species Oscheus tipulae, collected from various sites within the CEZ. Since the catastrophic explosion of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in April 1986, the surrounding area has been heavily contaminated with ionizing radiation, posing severe risks to any form of life. The research team collected hundreds of nematodes from the soil, leaf litter, and rotten fruit in the CEZ, measuring radiation levels with Geiger counters and using protective suits. They cultured nearly 300 worms and selected 15 specimens of O. tipulae for genome sequencing, comparing them to specimens from other parts of the world, including the Philippines, Germany, the United States, Mauritius, and Australia. Contrary to expectations, the CEZ nematodes displayed no significant genetic damage. The analysis revealed no large-scale chromosomal rearrangements or increased mutation rates linked to the ambient radiation levels. The genetic differences between the CEZ worms and those from other regions were primarily due to geographic distance rather than radiation exposure. The findings suggest that these nematodes possess an extraordinary resilience to radiation, potentially due to natural selection favoring individuals resistant to ionizing radiation. This resilience could provide valuable insights into DNA repair and cancer susceptibility in humans. Now that we know which strains of O. tipuli are more sensitive or more tolerant to DNA damage, we can use these strains to study why different individuals are more likely than others to suffer the effects of carcinogens, said Tintori. Thinking about how individuals respond differently to DNA-damaging agents in the environment is something that will help us have a clear vision of our own risk factors. The research, as per Science Alert, opens new avenues for studying DNA repair mechanisms and improving cancer treatments, inspired by the resilience of these tiny but tenacious creatures. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.